Up there, Kazali. I can't open the pack. <laughs> Why didn't I bring scissors? I believe the crow's gonna finish bottom of the ladder this year. I feel very sad, the fact that that is the case. Hey, we got our first fireworks, and of course, it's the crow's one box. Another crow? Rowan Marshall, we've got another. Hey, if you're a crow supporter, you're loving this box. I got a firework, and I've got a milestone from the crow's. <laughs> Let's see how we go in the other half. Now, we're looking for, obviously a showstopper would be brilliant, but chances of a showstopper is incredibly unlikely. But I would say I would love a brown low or a premiership predictor. I feel like that's a, uh, it would be wonderful. Go Tigers. Um, hey, Shane and with the first. All right, getting that PC going. And Asprey, I think I need that jigsaw piece as well. And a bunch of bass at the end. So hopefully a Brownlow predictor or a Premiership predictor. I would hope obviously the Tigers for the Premiership or the Eagles. I think they're the two most likely teams to get it this year. Maybe with a bit of threat from the Pies and the Bullies. And as far as the Brownlow goes, look, Paddy Cripps is an absolute gun. He's going to poll well. And I think Paddy Cripps. So wouldn't mind getting a Carlton predictor or straight Paddy Cripps because I think he's a high chance of pulling off. Hey! I'll finish my sentence. The Brownlow this year. But we got a master up from the Tigers. We got Josh Caddy for 150 games. That makes me happy. And nothing on the end. That makes me happy because that means it's one less I'm going to have to pick up. Because um, I'm looking to get all the Richmond cards from the set. Minus maybe that Sydney Stack showstopper. Because unless I pull it, I don't know how much these showstopper is going to be worth. One in 800. And what is it? Look at the back. One in 864 packs. Um, I think there's 16, one showstopper from each team. And that is just exorbitant chances. Like, insane chances. Dusty. Shield. Pierce. And Aaron Francis from the Bulldogs. This makes him look like he's had his nose broken about 20 times in the exact same place right there. That's not a nose you want. I don't know if that guy... I wonder how the players feel about these caricatures. Like, whether they like them or not, whether they go, ah, oh, it's just, you know, a bit of fun. Some are a bit more complimentary. His beard is so long that his arm is going through the beard, which is hilarious. Massive furrowed brow. Um, but overall, looks somewhat like him. Josh Dunkley is a pretty good-looking dude, so, you know, they got the high cheekbones on him. I don't know how the players would feel. Like, if I had a card of me, and it was a caricature, I feel like I'd be okay with it. Look, if I just had a card of me, I'd be pretty happy. Got you! I'm pretty happy with that, but you never know. Hey, Ed Curno. Um, his brother injured himself at the start of the season. Uh, he fell, Charlie Curno fell over in the kitchen and he's out for a lot of the season. Um, <laughs> just poor guy. Mark Murphy, he's a gun. Uh, poor guy. Imagine out for a long part of the season just because you had a trip and fall over in the household. Oh, that's a tough one. All right, let's have a look here. Um, only got three die cuts. Got a bunch of um, bursts. Got four contested beasts. Four milestone bones. One firework. Oh, no, I got fire. I forgot lost, and I got four die cuts up there. Predictions for the AFL season. Let me have a think. Let me have a think. Um, look, I think top four is going to be probably Eagles on top, Tigers second, Pies and Bulldogs, just based purely on Go Tigers, based purely on... Percentage. Hey, we got a Brownlow predictor, and it's, of course, it's the Adelaide Crows. Wow, this is a Crows-centric box. All right, it is a wild card, though, so I don't know. Maybe Rory Sloan is just going to have a massive of a season. It is 95 out of 140, and I can't believe how much Crows we are getting out of this thing, which is ridiculous. That's absolutely hilarious. It is a wild card though. So any crow, maybe there'll be a, one of the new crows that are, have a bit of a breakout season. I'll put that one right there. I don't think I actually looked at what the number for this one was. Uh, 22. Okay, pretty low number for it. 22 for the fireworks. And there he is. He's my chance. Rory, hopefully, fingers crossed, you can somehow have a brilliant season down in Adelaide and get yourself plenty of votes because I feel like you're my best chance of bringing this one to life. Let's have a look. All right, well, we got our Brownlee predictor. We got a firework. Good box so far. It's all crow-centric. If you're an Adelaide fan, you are sitting there going, this is the best box I've ever seen. Jai Simpkin for our die cut and a Hawk Jigsaw piece. Let's have a look here. I think I need that base. 
Let's keep hurrying through. Let's see, find out what's going on. Um, I can see a leopard coming up. Our leopard is... Ron Marshall from the Saints. The mighty, mighty Saints. Drop the Suns. And a couple of base at the end. All right, we are plowing through these bad boys. Tommy Lynch on the front. Go Tigers. Give it the roar. Shannon Hearn again. And our burst is of Jordan Dawson. Put that one right there. Daniel Lloyd. Now, I am missing two of the, the AFLW Richmond players. I know that for a fact. I need Katie Brennan and I need uh, Conti. I've got a couple of Sabrina Frederick. So I know I'm just trying to keep track of it as I go as far as base goes of what I have seen and what I haven't. I might, at the end of this video, put together my base set and see how far away I am from opening up, um, look, a box and a couple of starter packs. And I'll see, let you know how close I get to get up. Speak of the devil, Katie Brennan has turned up. Go Tigers. Angus Brayshaw and Jared Berry. So we're just looking for Conti as far as the Richmond AFLW players go. Um, look at that head. Pull this one out. Let's have a look. So I need Conti. I know I at least need the Conti from the contested bees. Brandon Parrott from the Cats. Put that one over there. Um, nothing overly standout-ish, I think, about my about my um, special inserts. But we've still got all these packs left. Cross your fingers. No more Disney. No more Disney and... We're good to go. Look, we may as well try to hit all of the all of the crows. I need it. What do I need for crows? I need a crows ice blue die cut and a contested beast. Conti, I needed you. You turned up for me. Thank you so much. And not a cat, uh, not a crow, but a swan. Josh Kennedy, good player. And Alex Neil Burton. This is a what is this? Ah, oh, this is the header card. Ah, oh, let's tell us all our chances on it. All right, well I need that because I need at least one of them. So that will take number one slot in my base set binder. Good to have that card. I'm going to put that down there as well because there's a tiger on it. Front is a cat. Hewitts and Josh Kennedy. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> now, for anyone who's not a footy canton, yes, we have two Josh Kennedys in the league. One plays for the Swans, one plays for the Eagles, and I know which one I would prefer. Probably the Eagle any day of the week. I wonder how many people who aren't football fans are actually watching this. If you have never watched footy in your life, you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm saying these players or teams or anything. Sam Lloyd, old Tiger, hope he has another good season. Taranto and Steve Lee Thompson on the end. If you are say, American or British or Canadian or whatever it is, because I have a lot of people who are normally watching this for Pokemon cards. So you are just watching this because you know what? I want to see him open something that isn't Pokemon. Uh, and you're intrigued by AFL football, comment down below. Let me know that you've never watched or know what AFL is at all. It's the best sport in the entire world. Um, we all do love it. Jared Lyons from the Brisbane Lions. It works out because his name is Lyons and he plays for the Lions. When I was a kid, that's actually something I believed. I thought that Gary Lyon had to play for the Lions. Um, I thought that Paul Ruse had to play for the North Melbourne Kangaroos. I thought based on their names, whatever the names were, they had to play for a certain team. Nathan Jones, Hard Nut Jones, Dusty, throw him down there, go Tigers, followed by Luke Shoe. It seems to be a common combination, actually. And Jack Gunston from the Hawks for our blue die cut. Um, a jigsaw from the Weagles, Hopper, McGrath, and Katie Loins on the end. Can't remember if I finished my sentence or not, but yeah, if, you, if you've never watched AFL football before and you have no idea what it is, feel free to comment down below. Let me know. Um, let me know if you're enjoying it. Uh, I will link you over to some great footage. It's the best game in the entire world. Only really one state is completely obsessed with it, which is my home state of Melbourne. Speaking of which, that's she's from Melbourne Demons. Uh, Buddy in his wonderful indigenous outfit. Um, Stevie May from the Demons. Swan Jigsaw Beast and... No tigers in there. I literally just keep flicking through them to see if there's any tigers. I would love to know if you are watching this and you don't have absolutely no idea what AFL football is. It's a great sport. You should go check it out. Nat Fife on the burst. That's a good get. This player won the Brownlow, which was the best player in the entire AFL season um, last year. His nose does not look like that. His mouth does not look like that. He's a pretty good looking dude, actually. That makes him look like a troll, but he's a good looking dude. Bit of that surfy sort of look. And we've got... Two packs left. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying my content, make sure you are liking and subscribing. Um, at this point, it's one of those things of, I don't know how much more footy stuff I will do, so uh, come along on my journey if you are enjoying it. Ah, oh, I just saw we've got another Disneyland. Ah, oh, I wanted only two of them in the pack, and we're sitting here with Disneyland. Ah, 
That's unfortunate way. All right, that wasn't a real pack. Let's face it, take the jigsaw out of, <laughs> of course, a crow. Now I can do my official sign off. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying my content, make sure that you are liking and commenting down below. Please consider giving me a subscribe if you are new to the channel. I don't know how much more footy stuff I will be doing. I'm thinking about doing some team coach when it comes out as well. So fingers crossed for that. Uh, we're going to play this slow roll, this one. We're going to go from the back. We can see it's a leopard, but who's the leopard off? Who's the leopard off? Go from the back. Clark, which means I think, oh no, <laughs> we got one more card. If you are new to the channel, please consider giving that subscribe. Ah, surprise, ooh, surprise burst. Uh, from Port Adelaide, Xavier Derm Dermsma. Looks okay there. Like, if, like, it's one of those things. You compare these two cards. Nat5 looks like an absolute troll, whereas our Port player over here looks like perfectly fine. Like, uh, that's, Nothing too offensive about that. He's just excited. Whereas now five literally looks like he's going to eat your children and steal your gold. Look, I guess so much crows in this box. It's a little bit crazy. Now I can do my official sign off. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying my content, give it a like and give it a comment down below. I love getting any feedback from the community. If you are new to the channel, make sure you consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for future videos. I will be bringing out some more Pokemon stuff very, very soon. In fact, maybe a couple of days straight after this. And I might even be opening up some more AFL team coach. So make sure you are following along on my YouTube's journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.